All right, and to do nutrition with us this morning is Ebenezer a miracle. He is a registered dietitian with three years of experience in clinical dietetics. Uh, he's a very enthusiastic and highly competent dietitian with a track record of helping clients achieve their set dietary and health goals. Now, today, we will be talking about uh, diabetes, right? Yes, Causes diabetes. of diabetes. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, let's see the ground running. Okay. Um, first of all, diabetes is a spike in your blood sugar because of two factors. Is it that there is no insulin at all or the insulin in, um, in your circulation is actually not sufficient to help move the sugar to other cells that needs it. So that's what happens in diabetes, like a pathophysiology of diabetes. Now, the major cause for diabetes is really not known, but there are so many um, risk factors around it. One very important... The major cause is yes, not known. not known, okay. like per se. Yes, but one very um, important risk factor people should know about diabetes is um, obesity. So the, if you have a higher BMI than 30 and above, you are actually at very, very huge risk of getting diabetes. Oh. Because what happens in obesity is that there's too much fat in different um, tissues. And when that happens, there's um, an, a high amount of inflammation. And when that happens, it can affect the cells that actually produce insulin for that. Yes, so those, those, that is the major thing that wow. increases the risk so factor obesity. for diabetes. Okay, let, let, let's talk about another factor. Another factor most times is it's, it's, it's mostly hereditary. So if someone's parents had diabetes, there's almost every tendency for you to have diabetes if you don't check your lifestyle. If you don't put a check on your lifestyle or your dietary patterns, there's every tendency that you're also going to have. So if you're, if you're aware of your medical history, especially regarding diabetes, yes. as long as you're able to manage it from childhood, exactly. you can actually avoid totally. um, yes. totally. suffering from it. Yeah, totally. Okay, so what else? Um, those are the two things majorly. There are other factors that are majorly medical, medical terms. And medical. All, now yeah. let's talk about the regular ones. The regular ones. So we, we keep hearing that sugar, you know, consuming too much sugar mm -hmm. uh, causes diabetes. How true is that? That That is absolutely not true. What? It's <laughs> not true at all. Because um, consuming too much sugar wouldn't cause diabetes at all. At all. It's because they, you continue to consume sugar. No, nobody that takes more than... You don't, nobody can take a cup of sugar in a whole day. It's not possible. When I mean sugar, I mean refined sugar okay. because there's actually sugar, different types of sugar, yes. the complex and the simple one yes. and also. But consuming sugar doesn't cause diabetes. Nobody wants to actually take a cup of sugar in a day. The highest amount of sugar somebody might take in a day might be like three to four spoons, wow. and that's not possible for you to get diabetes. It's not possible. Yeah, but so, you know, we, we can get it from certain drinks, you know. That's why we talk about sugar content. Exactly, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. From certain snacks, mm -hmm. loads of sugar. Yes. Sweet to thingy, you know. Yeah, yeah, true, true that. Um, the, the, the main truth is that there's no food actually that you wouldn't see sugar, yeah. carbs, yeah. per se, you know, unless you just want to be drinking oil <laughs> and be eating egg. Yeah, so that's just the thing. Unless you want to be drinking oil, be eating eggs, be eating just fish and that. But if you're taking vegetables, there's an even amount of beans, carbohydrate, even beans, beans is yeah, carbohydrate anything. So that's the thing. So we can't totally run away from it. So that's the cost of diabetes is not the consumption of sugar. At all, yes. It's not yeah, but, uh, th th there's also the factor of the sweeteners, which people don't really talk about. When okay. you talk about, you know, when you ha when you buy a, a drink, for example, okay. and you're told, oh, it's low sugar. But it contains... But well, then it contains sweeteners. Sweetener. Do the sweeteners have any mm, okay. contribution? Um, about the sweeteners, the um, researches and studies have actually showed that taking sweeteners would not spike your blood sugar as... The normal refined sugar would do oh. but on a long run what happens with sweetener is that they taste they change the your taste board because normal sweetener a sweetener is actually 10 times sweeter than normal sugar itself mm. so what happens is if you continue using them they might just change your taste board and when you taste sugar it might not be as sweet as it should be to you what? so you actually now take start taking more of, of sweeteners sugar, than of sugar. sugar yes exactly so that's what happened mm. not like you're going to take sweeteners and if you take it too much it's going to actually spike your blood sugar per se it will not really spike your blood sugar like it should be it so should. If, if 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 someone is aware of the hereditary status of their or you know of diabetes or say for example they know quite well that their bmi is high okay. but they haven't been diagnosed of diabetes, diabetes in yeah. what ways can they actually prevent contracting it okay it's a total it's, it's a total lifestyle modification act yes you just have to modify your life when you say that, modify what, do what you mean? when i say modify is some people don't actually do exercises at all so exercises exercises are, are yeah, very very important because with exercises you cut down your weight and like i said before obesity is one major risk factor 
for diabetes. So with exercises, you cut down your weight. With your dietary patterns, actually, you can cut down your weight. Some people actually smoke, some people drink, some people take highly processed foods, maybe highly processed carbs, highly processed meats, and also with those kind those factors around, if you just modify them and come back to taking the normal healthy kind of options, do exercise like you're supposed to do. That's that is what I mean by lifestyle modification. So I'm actually aware of a particular situation where this okay. young lady okay. uh, was born diabetic. Like after she, you know, after a birth and all. Almost within her first year, course, she was already yeah. on insulin, and yes, she it's, it's been like that for her throughout yes, her yes. life. Yes, yes, yes. And she doesn't have, when her mom was asked, you know, the whole clicking thing, her mom wasn't diabetic, her grandma wasn't diabetic, her great grandma was still alive then, wasn't diabetic. And then the question was, how did that, how happen, did that happen from birth? Okay. Um, there are two types of diabetes, there are actually more than two types, but for diabetes mellitus. Yeah. There are two types. There's a type 1 diabetes and type, two. type 2 diabetes. Yes. There's gestational and other ones. I would but like you just... to even define the type 1 and type 2, but okay. let's finish with this. Okay, for the type 1, let me just define it immediately. Okay. So for the type 1, that I said, remember I said something like, um, it's either there is no insulin at all or there is no sufficient insulin. insulin. So the type 1 is the one that there's no insulin. That person is going to be dependent on insulin for the whole lifespan. Wow. Person. And it's called an autoimmune disease. What happens is that the, your immune system starts to af attack themselves. Mm -hmm. So you can start from any time. You can start from six months of birth. You can start from one year of birth. And it's mostly juvenile. It mostly starts from a smaller age. Then the person and will there's just nothing be, that can be done about it. There's really it. nothing that can be done about it. The person has to be on insulin throughout the person's wow. life. What about type 2? The type 2 is a normal one that yeah. might not be um, insulin dependent, but you can just use oral drugs. You can actually do um, lifestyle modifications and dietary patterns. But is there something a mother can do to prevent that? Uh, there's really to nothing. Child. There's really nothing. So there's nothing you can auto, do to yes, help? Yes, I don't wow. have autoimmune deficiencies, autoimmune disease that it affects your immune systems totally, yes. So, because most mothers, most times, they do every. They take every measures to make sure they are very, very healthy yes. during pregnancy. And most times they give birth, and it might just be a little bit problem with the child. And also, it's an autoimmune something. So it's, it's usually a case of okay, there was nothing to be done about it, mm -hmm. and the child has to live with it for the rest exactly. of so his or her life. Exactly. So this is what we. This is what Nigerians term as village people. Yes, exactly. because so. that would you believe that was what I was thinking in my head? I hate village okay, and I was yeah. like, okay, no, I'm sticking with a medical practitioner. We should, okay. you know, act like we're sure. talking science, sure. of course. Sure. But really, it, it's a very scary thing to do. Yeah, it's scary thing, but it can be managed. It can be managed. You just need to teach, teach the child and tell the child it's not a death sentence. I just need to tell the child that this is how you are going to live, and you just need to know how to um, administer the insulin to yourself, know how to use your diet and your lifestyle and everything. That's just a thing. Okay. Well, you've heard uh, Dr. Ebenezer Miracle, especially uh, for those who are wondering at how come I'm diabetic, I don't deserve it, I didn't do anything wrong, my lifestyle is good. It does happen, and there are ways you can actually manage it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll take this break. Wake Up Nigeria continues in a bit. Stay with us.